Hi, Cikgu Jaga here. Hello. Okay, today we are going to look about properties of light. Okay, properties of light in Unit Five of Year Four. Okay, what are the properties of light? Okay, let me tell you these four things. Okay, what are the properties of light? Number one, light travels in a straight line. Light can be reflected. Light can be refracted, and then light cannot pass through an opaque object. Okay. So this is what we are going to see in this chapter. But today we are going to see only two things: light travels in a straight line. Light cannot pass through an opaque object. Okay. Okay. Look at here. Light travels. Okay. Do you know that light travels? You can see the light. Okay. You can see the light, and then do you see that? Do you realize that light can travel? Okay. But actually, light is traveling. Okay. From one place to another place. Okay. See here. Light from a car headlights. Okay. And then here, light from a helicopter, and then sunlight rays shine between in, in between the tree uh, tree trunks in a forest. Okay, so you can see the see that the light light travels right in a straight line. Okay, so when light travels in a straight line, what happens? Okay, see, this is to prove that light travels in a straight line. Okay, this uh, this experiment you will be doing in the school. Okay. See, there will be three cardboards. Okay, three cardboards. In the every cardboard, they will put one hole in between. Okay, so the three cardboards will be arranged accordingly. Okay, in the straight. When the holes are in a straight line, so when you put the torchlight over here, you put torchlight over here, so the light will be can be seen on the screen. Okay, the light can be seen on the screen. But let's say one cardboard is moved away, so the hole won't be straight, right? So you cannot see the light on the screen because light only travels in a straight line. It will not move zigzag and then will be shown in the screen. Okay, it won't happen. It okay. So this experiment or this activity to show that light travels in a straight line. Okay, another thing, when the light travels in a straight line what will happen okay let's say if a, if the light is blocked by an opaque object or i told you right light cannot pass through an opaque object okay if the light travels through the opaque object what will happen it can't penetrate so shadow will be formed okay shadow will be formed okay i'm pretty sure that you know about shadow right uh, you can see your own shadow as well okay Let's see the shadow clarity of objects. Okay, shadow shadows are formed when a moving light is obstructed by an object. Okay, obstructed means like blocked, lah, blocked by an object. The clarity of the shadows formed formed may vary according to the type of object that obstructs. The type of object can be transparent, translucent, or opaque. Okay, see these three kind three different types of object. Okay, transparent means okay. Let's say there's a clear plastic file. Okay, you can see the document even you even though you put the document inside the file, right? So it is transparent. Translucent means you can see like a bit. You can see the file, but you cannot see the letters. I mean the words. You cannot see the words. It's like blur. Okay, so translucent. And then opaque. Opaque means you cannot see anything at all. Let's say you put the book inside your school bag. You can see the book you read. Cannot write, so it is op. So the school bag is an opaque object. So transparent will allow whole light to pass through it. So that's why you can see it very clearly. Translucent only allows some light to pass through it. That's why you can see, but then it's blur. Okay, opaque object doesn't allow any light to pass through it. That's why you cannot see any object inside it. Okay, so this is three different things. So. When the shadow formed by the opaque object will be very very clear, will be very clear. Okay, the shadow formed by the transparent object, it actually it won't for it the shadow won't be formed also in the transparent object. Okay, because it's too clear, right? And then it's translucent. Translucent will form the shadow, but then it's not a clear shadow. Okay, not a clear shadow. In transparent, there is no shadow at all. Okay, in the transparent object, transparent object doesn't produce any shadow. But opaque object will produce a clear shadow. Okay, it's like a clear shadow. Okay, so that's what we are going to see today. And see, light travels in a straight line. Light cannot pass through an opaque object. These are the two properties of light that we already saw this today. Okay, today, the next day, the next class. Okay, we'll be looking into the reflection of light and reflection of light. Okay, thank you, class. Bye.